Sycamore Library patrons, this is Kelsey at SPL. Today we're going to be making stars and constellations with paper embroidery. You'll need some thick, heavy paper, scissors, a pencil, and a needle and thread. Paper embroidery is an easy way to make beautiful greeting cards with a 3D twist. Let's do some simple stars first. You're going to poke holes for each point of the star, then simply pull the thread to the opposite point, just as though you were drawing it. Metallic thread is perfect for this craft, or you can use gold or white. You want to have a length of thread about as long as your forearm. Any longer and it could get tangled. I'm using my finger to hold the tail of the thread in place. Even though there's a knot on the end, I don't want to risk it pulling through. To help anchor the thread, I'll tie the end of it to another stitch. As you go, flip back and forth to make sure you don't get tangled. The back will look messy, but don't worry about it. If you're embroidering multiple things on your paper, don't bother cutting the thread, just move on to the next part. If you're running out of thread, loop it around a nearby stitch and tie it off. One thing to remember is that paper is a lot more fragile than cloth. You don't want to put the holes too close together or pull too hard on the thread. Now I'm going to move on. I've decided to make this paper into the night sky with the thread forming the lines between constellations. First, lightly draw out your pattern using pencil. You can erase this later. Next, take your needle or a thumbtack to poke holes through the paper along your pattern. This will make it much easier to avoid mistakes later on. Next, you remove the cat. Next, you just follow the pattern, frequently flipping over the paper to make sure the thread doesn't snag. If the thread does snarl, loosen the knot and gently pull on it until it detangles. You can make bookmarks, posters, or a birthday card with the recipient's sign on it with this technique.
I'm going to use the same technique to embroider the letters for this card. I've also got a number of beads and rhinestones that I'll be using to make the stars. So once I finish the letters, I'm going to glue the rhinestones down and let them dry before I add the beads. I could have added the beads as I went, but I wanted to see what it would look like without them first. Okay, now I'm going to make some stars by gluing down these rhinestones. Okay, now it's time to add the beads. Here, I'm anchoring my new thread by tying it to a previous stitch on the back. These beads were left over from some old projects, but anything that's lightweight and small will do the trick. Come up through the hole, thread a bead onto your needle, then go back down through the same hole. You can skip all over your pattern like this. Don't worry about it being too neat. Remember, if you already know where you want your stars to be placed, you can add the beads as you go. If you make this craft, please take a photo and share it. I'd love to see the pictures. This is Kelsey from the Sycamore Public Library. I hope to see you soon.